Hello, welcome to Strong and Slow Flow Yoga. And today we're going to do build up to a slow flow of the Dancing Warrior series. So it's going to be nice and slow. It's not going to be fast. You're going to have the time to really get into those poses like we like. Um, prop wise, you may need um, one block for sure. Um, this is for if you need it in an extended side angle or if you can't touch the floor very well. The second block may come in handy if you like to have hands on blocks for a low lunge, which we'll be doing. If you can do the balance challenge in the low lunge, then you may not need your second block. So always use what you need and we will get going. So I'm sitting up on a folded blanket here. because My hips are just a little bit tight this morning. And once you're here, just find a nice tall seat. So ears, shoulders, and hips in alignment. We're gonna zip up the front body so we can support the back body. Good. And as I sit here coming into my practice, I am just going to allow myself to sink in, turn inward a little bit and notice if there's anywhere that I could soften and my body just a little bit more. So making sure I'm not gripping with the hip, shoulders away from the ears, and maybe some unclenching of the jaw. And I'm just noticing that breath for a moment. Trying to take some nice expansive breaths to the rib cage. We'll go into a little bit of that Ujjayi Pranayama, that Darth Vader back of the throat breath here. So if you're doing it on an inhale, you're gonna make an A-H sound on the inhale. Mouth will be closed, so it sounds like this. Hopefully you can hear. And then if you're gonna use it on the exhale, you're making an A-A ha sound, forcing that air up back to the throat and out through the nose. And there's also a toning of the belly button here with that exhale as well, which sounds like this. Good. So you can do it on just the inhale, the exhale, or both. I cannot talk and do them together. So we're just going to breathe a few rounds here. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Fingertips to the side, palms turning up. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. As I bring my hands together, I'm gonna bring them down to the heart center, creating an intention for practice. What would you like to give or receive? I'm gonna give you some nice spring affirmations here on this May 1st. Sometimes people call May 1st the unofficial start of summer. Some people reserve that for June, but it's getting warmer here. Let's kind of get that in between. And then from here, we'll come up, reach, reach, reach. Let's get a nice side bend to the left. Shoulders and hips are in alignment here. Your top arm is going to be nice and long. When it's nice and long versus like this, you get a little bit more of a side engagement. So breathe here. Watch that forward collapse. You want to keep that nice and open. And then from here, choosing where you want to go. Do you want to stay here? Do you want to maybe side bend deeper? Do you want to open up towards the back? Or do you want to tuck the tailbone, scoop in the belly button, getting a C-curve roll here? If you've got osteoporosis or something like that going on in the back, um, I would not do the C-curve roll. And then from here, inhale and lengthen. Exhale, move through center and take that right into the other side. Shoulders and hips in alignment. Top arm is nice and long. Front shoulder is in alignment with the hip. And then you choose where you go. Do you stay? Do you side bend deeper? 
Do you choose to open to the back or do you choose that tail tuck C curve roll? And then inhale, we'll open and we'll come back up. Inhale and reach. Gentle rotation towards the left. Arms are going to come down, rolling shoulders back. Watch this shoulder here. So when you look back behind you, if this shoulder comes forward, see if you can take it back just a little bit. And that helps you get that stretch right then in the side of the neck. And inhale, lift. Moving through center, taking that to the other side. Arms are going to come down, rolling shoulders back. Looking behind you, this shoulder is moving that way. And then from here, we'll come up and come to center. Good. So we're going to go into a little bit of protraction and retraction here. So just to kind of show you this from the side view. Tuck my shirt in just a little bit here so it's less bunchy. Okay, so I'm going to take my hands here. Protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. So remember every time we're in down dog or plank, we are protracted. Protracted. So we're never like this. So if you were to see yourself, you should not see your shoulder blade popping up in the back. So always, always protract there. Good. And just roll that around. And once you're ready, we're going to come to some cat cows. So if you need a knee cushion, you can always bring in a folded blanket. You can always roll the back of your mat up as well, giving you a double or quadruple layer. Same thing here with the wrist. If your wrist doesn't like this hyperextension, you can fold the top part up. Now you can also, remember, do your cat cows on forearms on blocks or forearms on the floor. Just kind of do what your body needs you to do. Good. So I'm going to be up here today. I'm spreading the fingers nice and wide. I'm rooting through the knuckles of pinky, porter, and thumb. Knees are about hip width apart. They can be slightly wider if you've got a back issue. Belly button is in. Inhale. Chest comes forward. Pelvis tilts back. Exhale. And we'll round. Nice cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So again, you want to be protracted here too, which is what I'm doing. This is a retraction, the hanging in the shoulder. Protract. Good. Move forward and back. Good. And then we'll come back, just getting a little bit of a break here in the wrist. Now, we're going to come to a down dog plank flow. Those of you that need to be on forearms, either the blocks or the floor, you're going to come to a dolphin and forearm plank flow. So just kind of take what you need where you need it. I'm going to demo um, down dog and plank flow, though. So from here, good. I'm going to take my hands a little bit more forward. I'm going to tuck my toes, shifting back. I'm pressing in and forward into the hands as I lift up my knees and my hips. Good. Now, I'm just going to take a moment here in my down dog. So if you're in dolphin, Please take a moment here as well. So for dolphin pose, if you're there, shoulders are behind your elbows and you're pressing away from the forearm. If you're here and down dog with me, turn your elbows towards the alignment of the pointer and the thumb, or sorry, pointer and middle finger. Shoulders also away from the ears. Yeah. Now from here, I'm gonna take my feet back just a little bit more. So I can get a good plank when I move forward and back. And so then here we go. From the down dog or the dolphin, you're going to move forward. Find your plank. Knees can come down as needed. Good. And then an exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. From here, drop those knees. Find a nice child's pose. So your knees can be together as wide as the matter, somewhere in between. Your arms can be long in front of you. Your hands back by the ankles, letting the shoulders relax. I'm going to zip up in that front body. And I'm going to expand that rib cage as I 
일일 해요. And then from here, once you're ready, we're going to come up, make your way back to your downward facing dog or your dolphin, whatever you need to do. Get there the way that you need to get there. And then from here, bending the knees, looking forward, walking or stepping your feet forward to meet your hands or come up to the hands the way you need to get there. Good. With or without your blocks. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Hands can come to floor, block, shins, or thighs. Exhale, bending those knees as we bow. Maybe taking a little dangle here, grabbing opposite elbows. It's giving your back a little bit more traction. One more breath. And once you're ready, good. Hands back to the floor of the block. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Nice long back. Good. Hands for block, shins or thighs. And then we'll fold, bending the knees. Pressing through the feet and the glutes, the legs, to make them strong. Coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain and tension. So a nice little thought here um, as we continue on into the spring season is my mind is a garden and my thoughts are my flowers. My mind is my garden and my thoughts are my flowers. Big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. From here, inhale, planting the hands, stepping or hopping back to plank, but hold your plank. Knees can be down if you need to. Belly button is in. And we're breathing. Good, we're breathing. I'm going to lower my knees here, untucking the toes. I'm going to turn my elbows forward. And then I'm going to try not to collapse the shoulders as my elbows come straight back. And lower all the way down to the belly. Good. If it would feel good to do a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here, you can. I'm going to take my hands a little forward into the side of the shoulder. Rolling the shoulders back. Belly button is in. Good. Maybe we find a baby cobra here. Shoulders away from the ears. No crunching in the back. If that feels okay. Maybe we come higher. Shoulders away from the ears. No crunching in the back. Maybe higher. No crunching um, in the back or arms for the ears. You can lower a little bit. So if you've got full up dog and you want to go there, you can go there. Yes, nice and lifted. And then we'll lower that all the way back down. Good. As always, stronger, more experienced yogis can take the hands under the shoulders, push up in a plank, sit back down dog. Everyone else, follow me through tabletop, tucking toes, Lifting up into your down dog or maybe dolphin. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes and the legs. Rise all the way up, nice long back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. We'll do a couple of those a little bit quicker. You choose to take or skip a flow. If you've got a wrist or a shoulder issue, taking the vinyasa flow is probably not a good idea for you. So I would probably take a child's pose for that one. So when you're ready, coming up, exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. 
Good. Planning the hands or getting there how you need to get there. Stepping back into a plank or take or skip a flow. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Good. Rooting through the feet, getting into the glutes, strong legs, long back as we rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one like this. Inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll hold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hand. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. And once you've made it back to your down dog or dolphin pose or even a child's pose here, wherever you're at, just take a moment, reconnecting with yourself, reconnecting with that breath. About, I deserve the good things that will come. I deserve the good things that will come. From down dog or wherever you're at, we'll look forward. Good. Take your feet, forward your hands in the way that you need to get there. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Rooting through the feet, engaging the glutes. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. Great. All right. From here, let's prepare to go into a lower lunge. So if you need those blocks for that, go ahead and have them ready. Big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. From here. I'm going to have my hands on my blocks here. I'm going to step the right foot back. When I step the right foot back, I'm going to let that right knee come down to the floor. You can always push in that knee if you need to. You want to pay attention to this front foot and heel. Do you want the knee to be over or behind the ankle and the heel to be grounded? So if something like this is happening, um, pick up and put that foot more forward. Good. So I'm just going to use my blocks here for a moment. Good. Just lengthening. And then once you've got your balance, if you don't need the blocks, you can come up and reach. And open your heart to the energy of spring and the coming energy of summer. And we'll take that back down. Good, I'm gonna move my block forward. I'm gonna plant the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Front foot can step back. You choose take or skip a flow. Your flowing's always optional. I'm gonna skip this one. Take a moment in your down dog. And then once you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale. Lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and we'll bow. Pressing through the feet, engaging the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take that to the other side. Inhale, and we'll lift. Exhale, and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and we'll bow. This time, the left foot is going to reach back behind you. Good. 
Let that left knee come down. Right knee is over behind the ankle. Front heel is grounded. Use your blocks as needed. Pick up and put that foot more forward as needed. Find your bearings here. And if you need to keep your hands on your blocks, do so. Otherwise, maybe we'll come up. We'll open our heart again. To the energy of spring and the coming of summer. Inhale, exhale, taking that down. Good, your blocks can come more forward. Planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee, front foot steps back. You too, take your skipple flow. From down dog when you're ready. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Rooting through the feet, engaging the glutes. We'll come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Now, before we go into our dancing warrior flow here, we're going to do a little bit of a balance challenge. So if you're on a mat that's on a hard surface um, coming off your mat will give you a little bit more stability if you need it you can always come to a wall um, or holding on to the back of a chair or something like that if you need that otherwise good i'm going to start on my left side so my left hip knee and toe are going to track forward i've got my eyes on a spot on the wall in front of me here that's not moving so i'm not going to take my eyes off that spot good and then i'm just going to start to lift the right foot to where I'm stable. So if you're lifting it a little bit and you're wobbly and everything like that, lifting it higher is not gonna make you more stable. So stay low, and then once you get more stable, then you can experiment with taking it higher. Hands, arms can be anywhere you wanna go. Notice if you're hanging in the left hip because you grow taller in that left side. Now, some of you are gonna stay here. Some of you are gonna reach and bend and reach and bend. Some of you are gonna take it out to the side and hold it. And then bringing that back in and taking it down. Shake out that supporting leg and we'll do that to the other side. So right leg, hip, knee, and toe are gonna track forward. Get that drishti, that gazing point, something not moving in front of you. Zipping up can also be down a few feet in front of you. Find where you're stable with that other leg. Don't go higher if you're not stable when you're lower. Grow out of that right hip if you're hanging in it. And then as long as you're okay, maybe you play. One, two, three, or maybe taking that leg out to the left. And coming back in and taking that down. Good. Shake out that other one. So from here, um, we're going to go into the Dancing Warrior series. This is going to be very slow, and we're just going to do it one time on each side. So this will include an extended side angle, an extended side angle. So if you know you need a block for your extended side angle, go ahead and have that on your left side to start. And then once you're ready, good. Belly button is in. I'm gonna set my right foot back and I'm gonna start from this high lunge position, okay? Now from here, your right hip is gonna turn out to the right. And when I do that, my knee and my foot are going to um, rotate out with me, but the rotation's in the hip, good. My front hip is gonna come back. That's gonna help that front knee track towards the pinky toe side. And then I'm gonna leave my hips where they are as I take the chest only to the side and reach. The warrior two is a version of a twist. So strong through the back edge of the back foot, strong in that front heel. Front knee can lengthen at any time. It's more important to be engaged in the back edge of the back foot than for the front knee to be bent. Good. And nice and strong. 
Gaze is over the tip of that front middle finger. Now with a bent knee or a long front leg, we're just gonna take that back, try not to shift the hips as we come back into exalted. If you are someone that likes to wrap the bottom arm or bind the hands together here, find something that you like to do, always an option, you can always be right here. And then once you're ready, good, we'll find the warrior two. And so we're gonna take this into a humble warrior, humble warrior. Some of you with good balance are gonna take your hands behind, maybe you clasp the hands, pressing through the back leg, leaning forward and just coming right here. Others are maybe gonna take two hands down here for support. So find this where you need to find it. Watch this front knee. It stays towards the pinky toe and over or behind the ankle. Try to lengthen that torso a little bit here. Belly button stays in. Stay with the breath. You know, pressing through the feet and the leg. Good, we'll come up. Warrior two, reset your form. Front hip comes back. Chest is open to the side. With a bent knee or a long front leg, we'll take that back, we'll go to exalted again. And when you're ready, good. we'll find our warrior two once more. Just watching that front knee, good. Going into extended side angle here, remember this is not a forward fold, so spine stays long. I'm pressing through the back. I'm going to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen here. When I can come no more, you can take a forearm to the thigh. Okay, that's one option. You can take a block, any height, or a hand to the outside of the foot. That's easier than being on the inside. Inside is a deeper rotation of the spine. So be where you need to be as you open up that right shoulder and chest to the right. Breathing. And once you're ready, we're going to look down at that front foot. We're going to come down and frame that front foot with both hands. I'm going to swivel up the back foot. My front foot is going to step back, and you choose to take or skip a flow. Maybe you take a modified version of one. Always okay. And once you've made it to your down dog, um, if that's where you went, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. We'll inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, rooting through the feet, the legs will rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. We're gonna take that all to the other side. So I'm just gonna come over here so my back is not to you. Now you'll want the block on the right side, on the right side if you're using one. So from here, we're gonna start the same way. I'm gonna step my left foot back. So now I'm in this high lunge. And then that left hip is gonna rotate out. Good. Hip, knee, and toe is always going in the same direction. Front hip is gonna come back, back hip is gonna come forward. And then I'm going to just rotate my Torso, so. yeah, finding that warrior two. Gaze is over that front middle finger. Get into the back edge of the back foot, front heel of that front leg. Lengthen the front leg at any time. Once you're ready with a bent front knee or a lengthened front leg, we'll come back into exalted warrior. You can leave the back hand here. You can wrap or bind if you did that at this point on the other side. And 
And then from here, good. Finding warrior two. And we'll come into that humble warrior. So again, some of you are gonna have your hands behind the back. Some of you are gonna follow me and have your hands to the floor. So just kind of find it. Careful not to let this knee shift around. Good. Take it where you can take it. Nice long back. Breathing. Okay. About spring is a time of renewal and rebirth. Spring is a time of renewal and rebirth. My flowers now are finally coming out. I've got three baby bunnies in my backyard and three birds nests with some nice chirping baby birds going. So the time for rebirth and renewal. And then once you're ready, good. Pressing into those feet, getting into the legs and the abs. Find your warrior two. Find your exalted. Inhale, exhale, finding your warrior two. Good. Going into the extended side angle. So I'm pressing through the back leg. I'm gonna lengthen, lengthen, lengthen here. When I can come no more, you can take a forearm to the thigh. You can take a hand to the blocker to the floor. Outside is less rotation than the inside. I'll just open that up. And press into the front heel, press into the back edge of the back foot. And then once you're ready, we're gonna look down at that front foot. Good. Our hands are going to come down and frame that front foot. Swivel up the back foot. Front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Good. And then once you're ready here, Based on where you're at, we're going to drop the knees and we're going to find a child's pose again. So finding your child's pose, knees can be together as wide as the mat, somewhere in between. Arms can be long in front of you, they can be by their ankles. Just finding where you need to be. And then from here, when you're ready, we're going to come forward onto the belly, onto the belly. So just let yourself kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle here. So we're going to go into a little bit of a hip opener, um, a little bit more gentle. And we're going to come into a half frog, a half frog. So what I'm going to do, so my left side is facing you, is I'm going to pull that left knee up to where I want. You want to try to get the knee right in line with the hip. And your ankle is in alignment with the knee. So it's not, you know, coming this way. It's not going up this way. Just the hip and the knee. And then the knee and the ankle. Okay. And then you're just going to make a little pillow with your hand. And you're just going to be right here. Just kind of relaxing into that for a moment. Take some breath. Then once you're ready, gently, gently let that leg come back down. Good. Give yourself a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we're going to do that on the other side. So you're going to pull up the right knee coming in line with the right hip. Good. And then the right ankle and the right knee are going to be in alignment with each other. And again, you'll just make that little pillow with your hands. And just be right here for a few moments, breathing, just letting everything kind of settle.
And once you're ready, it will gently release from that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we're going to turn over on our back. On our back. So once you come onto your back, kind of get yourself situated here for a moment. We're going to do two bridges. We're going to do a basic and a freestyle. So for the first one, the basic, hips, knees, and toes are tracking. Make sure the feet are not too far away or too close into the glute. Um, for this one, if robot arms is a little bit better for you, you can do it, or you can keep your arms down. We're nice and wide through the collarbone. And when you're ready, big inhale, pressing through the feet, the hands, the arms, and shoulders will lift the hips straight up towards the ceiling. Breathing. Noticing if the knees are staying in line with the hips where you want them versus falling out or falling in. And then once you're ready, then we'll just lower that back down. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock, rock, side to side. Good. So this next one can be a freestyle bridge, a freestyle bridge. So you can do pretty much any bridge that you want that's already in your practice. So you can do what we just did. You can, if you can reach, you can do the ankle bind. You can clasp the arms underneath. Um, you can robot arms. You can come up and do that full um, back bend if you would like. You can do a single leg uh, bridge. Whatever you would like to do is what I'm going to recommend. And I'm going to do another basic bridge here. But you do what you would like to do. Big inhale. Exhale based on where you're going. Find your bridge of choice right now. And also do a restorative bridge, taking a block or two underneath the hip and just resting there. And remember to in bridge, your gaze should be right at the ceiling, right over the eyeballs. Head does not turn right or left. And then Based on where you went with your bridge, that will determine how you need to come out and the best way for you. And once you're all the way out of that bridge, bring the knees back into the chest and rock, rock, rock side to side. Good. We're going to take this into a figure four. So the right ankle is going to come over the left knee. You can stay right here. You can bring it into the chest. You can thread it through. Find yours. Nope. Yep. Wrong side. Upper body is grounded. You can rock it. And then when you're ready, we're going to gently release. Good. We're going to take the hand to the outside of the foot or the big toe and find a half happy baby here. The other knee can be bent or it can be long, whatever feels good. If half happy baby is too much for you, come to a half happy adult. You'll just let that knee bend and you'll grab at the shin. And that should um, take out that discomfort if you're sensing any. And then once ready, we're going to release from there. Get, let that leg come up to the ceiling. Find a nice hamstring stretch. Keep the foot still. You can roll it around, pointing and flexing it, whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, we're going to take that to the other side. I'm going to release this leg. Good. Left ankle over the right knee. You can stay here. You can bring it into the chest. You can thread it through. Find it what you need to find it, how you need to find it. Upper body should remain grounded here. And then once you're ready, good, we'll release. Good. Finding the grip that you need, the version you need for your half happy baby. You can be here 
can also be that half happy adult if you need that. Find yours. And this other leg can always be bent or extended long. And then I'm going to release. Good, and take that leg back up. Good, get a nice little hamstring stretch here. And you're pointing the flex of the foot. Upper body still grounded with this stretch. And then we will release. Taking the knees into tabletop, we're going to come to our final twist. We'll just do a basic supine. So arms out to the side, knees over the hips. We're going to let those knees go to the left. As we look to the right, just breathe. Well, I welcome all of the energy of spring into my life with open arms. I welcome all the energy of spring and summer into my life with open arms. And then once you're ready, good. We'll take that back to center. We'll reset here, taking the knees over to the right, looking to the left. And what about seeds today, flowers tomorrow? Seeds today, flowers tomorrow. And when you're ready, good. We'll bring that back to center. And we'll set up for Shavasana here. So I'm going to bring my folded blanket in for a little neck pillow. Good. And then as you're getting kind of situated, knowing you can let everything come long and flop open, you need constructive breast on your side, on your belly, wherever you're comfortable. The final thought I'll give you is that I am grateful for every opportunity to grow and to be better. I am grateful for every opportunity to grow and to be better. Big breath. I'm taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take the head and neck from side to side. Maybe inviting movement of fingers and toes. Choosing stillness or bringing knees into the chest. Choosing to keep the upper body grounded. Or maybe you want to lift it up into a full body hug. And choosing stillness, removing any props out of the way if you used any during Shavasana time. Reaching arms long behind you, legs long in front of you, and find a nice full body stretch. Pointing and flexing through the feet, bending and stretching through the hands, throwing wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then from here, bending in both knees. And you choose pulling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for you in this moment. Taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. We started our practice today. 
And once you're in that nice seat, just take a moment, finding a nice tall spine, noticing how you feel. Big inhale and reach, reach, reach. Looking up at those hands as they come together, as we bring them down, touch the thumbs to the forehead for good and true thought. To the lips for good and kind words and to the heart for open and loving hearts. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, springtime ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.